Hello all you beautiful people, my name is Zach Dowdy. Today we're talking about the best van skate shoe in my opinion that I love. This is my second pair, I just picked it up yesterday. We we're in Temecula, California, checking out a ditch spot where we're gonna break in the shoes and talk a little bit why they are the best van skate shoe in my opinion. Now obviously saying something like the best skate shoe or the best van shoe is pretty subjective to my opinion. So a lot of people might argue that the half cab is a better shoe than the Rowan. But my point being is that I have had the half cab and it is one of the best skate shoes, one of the best van shoes. My experience with the Rowans have been a lot better than the half cab. I think they just snug your feet really good and they last really long. Like these are honestly a shoe that has lasted me longer than any other skate shoe that I've ever ridden along with other brands. I do still want to try last resorts, but we are here at the next spot, Slappy Curb, really breaking these shoes in today. By the end of the video, I really explain to why I think they are the best van shoe, but I'm uh, just enjoying the session with the boys. So uh, let's get some Slappy Curb grinds. breaking these shoes in by the end of the video I will talk a little more specific on why I think they are the best van skateboarding shoes but we're on the session we want to enjoy it make the most of today and it is really hot out here so we're trying to get some before it gets too blazing we're at the next spot I had a lot of fun busting out my slappy skateboard with the 215s at the last curb spot if you want to set up a slappy curb skateboard I highly suggest it link up above if you want to see the specifications on that board the 215s make it really fun for slappies but we're at the next spot so let's uh check it out back from the session and it's way too hot out today to be skating all day so I want to go a little more into specifics of why I think the Rowan vans are the best van skateboard shoe. Back home after a nice long skate session with all my buddies breaking in the vans Rowan so I figured now that we're back at the house I can talk a little more about why I think these are the best van skateboarding shoe. Now before we go into the details I do want to just say something that I've noticed right away with the Rowans this is my second pair for the first pair that i had they lasted almost two months so i figured why not get them again these have proven to be not only just a really durable shoe but really good for board fill and everything really we'll, we'll get right into it so as far as breaking them in they are a lot stiffer than any other vans vans is known as like kind of a shoe you can normally just put on and start skating fairly quick because they're kind of a looser shoe i guess in a way but what i've noticed about these is they do take a little bit longer to break in than the regular shoe but that comes with the caveat of they last a lot longer they're more durable they are more of a just tough shoe i kind of look at it as like a hybrid shoe it's kind of like 
in between um, a half cab and the classics and the old schools uh, with just triple stitching, a little more reinforcement, and you know, it has the pop cush insole, which is really dope as well. The thing I like about this insole and what I've noticed about it is that you do get the good uh, board feel that I always really want, especially skating transition a lot. I like a lot of board feel just in general, even flicking the board, any kind of board feel to me is really good. Um, but it still has enough cushion to where you can jump down stuff if you wanted to. So it's kind of got that nice in-between. It's definitely an upgrade from the Ultra Kush insoles. The Pop Kush is uh, something I'm, I'm a fan of for sure. So once you break these shoes in, they have the board fill while still having that like stiff outside area, which is nice in my opinion. A lot of this is subjective, but I found that to be a really good thing because your flicks and everything stay pretty healthy. It doesn't get floppy really quick like a lot of other vans do. Like the previous old schools that I had these, which are, you know, they're not a horrible shoe, but they definitely got floppy really quick compared to this Rowan. Rowan is also a really rad skateboarder. I love Rowan in general, so it's kind of dope to be able to support a skateboarder that also made a really rad shoe. Something else I didn't really think about mentioning is this back area. It's got, I guess it's kind of like a leathery type of material up here, and that's pretty nice for like shark bite, hill bruises, anything like that. And it is a little bit higher than like a low or a little bit lower than a mid. It's kind of like in that in-between area which is something I really like. It's not too chunky. That's the thing, I love the half cabs, but they are kind of chunky and they make your foot feel like you're more locked in. After you break them in, they're amazing. But this shoe, I think, you know, you get that lock in tough feeling, but you don't feel like you are missing board control. And sometimes with half cabs, it can be kind of hard to get to that board control point, um, just breaking them in. Something else that I noticed compared to the half cab, and I know I keep comparing them to that shoe, but that's because that shoe is known to be like the best van shoe, which is debatable. Um, the tongue stays in place a lot better because it has the little, you know, grippy side pieces, whatever you call those elastic strings on the side. So I think that is pretty nice. Like everything stays in place the whole entire time. You're never having to like adjust anything. And something else I did notice, which could be sort of a downfall. I could look at it as a downfall. It's also a plus and let me explain is I normally don't totally unlace my shoes. I'll just unlace the first layer and then I'll put my shoes on and then like lace them back up and like just stick my foot in there with these shoes. I notice you really do have to kind of unlace them and then lace them back up every time you put them on and off. That is something that I noticed, but I think that also works into like the mold of the shoe and the shape of the shoe and why it feels like it's so locked into your feet. It really doesn't feel like you're going to roll your ankle or anything like that. So I think that, um, lace factor plays somewhat into it because i noticed like a lot of my other van shoes i can slip them on and off besides like uh, a high top of course you can't really do that mid tops even i could slip them on and off but for some reason these shoes i cannot maybe over time but i feel like even the last pair i had i had to unlace and lace them back up and that can be a little bit time consuming but it also makes the shoe nice and snug so i think this extra layer around the top of the shoe is really nice i've heard people kind of debate on it some people say it's not good for the flick some people do say i didn't have any problems with it i thought it flicked really good I got the Dura cap as well, so it's like a little bit bulkier, a little bit tougher. I mean, it's definitely a, you know, a thick, thicker sole, but it's not, you know, to the point to where it's scary. You feel like you're higher off the ground or anything like that. So yeah, overall, I mean, that's my thoughts on this shoe. I think it's such a good shoe. It's, it stood the test of time too. It's still around and it's been around for a while. It's not a new shoe by any means, but uh, compared to some of the new vans that I've skated, I will definitely be sticking with this shoe. It's such a good shoe. I highly recommend it. 10 out of 10. Hope you guys enjoyed this short little video of breaking these in and explaining why I think they are the best shoes. Make sure you smash that like button down below. If you did enjoy it, subscribe if you're not already. I appreciate all you beautiful subscribers and I'll see you in the next one. Mash.